Today's question comes from Casey in Arizona. This is going to sound so silly. How strict would you get with this with this debt payoff? We are twenty thousand dollars in debt with cars. We recently got married. I am now pregnant, and my husband refuses to buy me any soup. He wants us living off rice and chicken. I'm puking all day. Can't keep food down. And I asked uh, this him is real. for soup yesterday. This is real. He makes very good money. So so one can of soup wouldn't hurt. But he's also dead set on not eating or buying anything other than essentials. We're literally fighting over it. Thanks. A pregnant wife craving soup. Is that real, y'all? Oh, my God. See, these, this is the problem with our jobs, Dave, <laughs> that we've created. It means we will have a job that forever. That we've created him. Him. Oh, no, Casey, yes. No, we did not soup. create him. We never told someone to <laughs> no. do that, ever. If you mean, when we say live on beans and rice, rice and beans, if you think we mean that literally, I mean, you really need to go back to school. It's a metaphor for sacrifice, sacrificial living. The deeper you sacrifice, the faster you get out. The chances... When we were dead dog broke in bankruptcy court, and my wife is carrying Rachel during that moment. Rachel was born the year we filed bankruptcy. The chances of me telling Sharon Ramsey she isn't going to have any soup is about zero. Okay? I would have woke up dead. <laughs> wouldn't have woke it up? <laughs> I wouldn't have woke up at all. I'm telling you. Duct tape to the bed and her standing over me with a baseball bat. It wouldn't have, I mean, this would not have worked, right? We are not going to do this. So, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, really? Goodness, Rachel's now coughing. Well, uh, I just remember how sick I was. You were sick. Pregnant. And, like, that's so terrible. Casey, go get soup. Go spend $10 yeah. and get you 10 cans of soup. Tell Mr. Pharisee to lighten up a notch. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. No, we're not buying a new car. We're buying a can of soup. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're both spenders hey, there at heart, so I we mean, don't... I've had people call and say, well, I'm in, my, my husband made me get in a dumpster and get something out of the dumpster because you said, I never said that ever. <laughs> never one time did I tell a man to send his wife to the dumpster <laughs> to get stuff out. Never once. But I've actually had that call one time. Oh, my gosh. These people take stuff. Listen, you, I get it that you got the point, but you missed the point. Okay? There's a concept here, not a detail. Yeah. And so it's – um. I think it was why Jesus was frustrated with the Pharisees, right? Oh, yeah. You got the concept, but you got all caught up in the details. And you went really you know, far over. Way over the line, Come down back. the hole, the rabbit Poor hole. Poor Casey in Arizona. If I had your address, Casey, I would ship you <laughs> a pallet of soup. A pallet. Yep. Just show it. So soup just for the rest of your pregnancy. Pallet. Costco, uh -huh. Costco, here we go. Direct direct to Casey's yard. Uh, let's, let's, do a, let's do a GoFundMe for Casey's I soup. Know. Yeah. <laughs> No, she doesn't need that. She needs to, uh, well, she's got it. She's got what she needs now.